All right, take two, because the first one clocked out. So, um, pretty much you got Kai Green, Mr. Olympia, right? Mr. Olympia, 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 right? They go ahead and they measure the greatest bodies of the industry, right? The biggest and baddest, the most muscular, muscles on top of muscles, men who don't even look like men, aliens and predators. In other words, right? These guys come up on stage and they flex in their spandex and get all oiled up for an audience of about 500 million. All to see their striations and gluteraminous glutes, their buttocks, right? And so we all get to watch these people as they sit there in their undies, flexing their glutes, and we get to judge which glute is more aesthetically pleasing. See, this is all reasons, ladies and gentlemen, while I do not follow bodybuilding. But anyway, that still pisses me off. Why does it piss me off? Because it was a robbery, right? Phil Heath, a guy with an enormous GH gut, an enormous gut, otherwise known as palumboism, a, a byproduct of going on GH product, went ahead and got this uh, first place trophy in the Mr. Olympia. Now that is not cool. That's not cool. Because you can't have a man with a gut, right, the size he's about to get pregnant, right, and to represent uh, the, the master of aesthetics, the physique of physiques, the greatest of them all, right? Um, you know, to give you an idea, to compare, you know, take a look at Arnold in his heyday, Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? He looked like a guy who was, okay, I see, there is Mr. Olympia. Take a look at Phil Heath, by all measures, I'm sorry, but that is, I don't know what that is. It looks like a pregnant sheep dog, you know, like honestly, like freaking honestly, like I have never, like that is not even, I wouldn't have even put him in the top six, let alone the top three. I don't see how anything that he brought to the table was in any way or shape superior to that of Kai Green. Surely not. Dennis Wolf, Kai Green, both of them, Branch Warren, they all seem to have uh, present far better physiques than this guy in the aesthetics department. In the aesthetics department, right? And I just, I'm sick and tired of this stuff in sports. I see it in sports all the time. You know, athletes, they give it their all. Uh, Kai Green is not any, I think, what is he, like 40 now, right? He's not getting any younger. The dude gave it all he has. He really deserves to be the Mr. Olympia. And it just annoys me. Even if I don't follow the sport, I understand what it means to be dedicated to a cause. I understand what it means to really put your head in something and give it all you got. Give your whole life up for a certain purpose and goal. Right? I understand these things. I understand what it means to be set to make sacrifices. And I also understand what it means to slack and to think that you're the best. And to think that you're uh, the greatest, right? Like Mr. Phil Heath, right? Long and short, Kai Green truly deserves this win. There's no question about it. And the fact that he lost just makes me think that there. I have no faith in the Olympia anymore. I have no faith anymore in bodybuilding. You know, because at the end of the day, that, that's why I don't like bodybuilding. That's why I'm powerlifting every day, all day, right? That's why I'm chasing a uh, 315 bench press, right? I got about 275 right now, right? I just, I see myself, right? There's no measurable factor. It's like, who's to say that that physique is better than that physique, right? It's all a matter of opinion, right? So, you know, I, I've honestly, I've had it with bodybuilding, you know? You know, and besides for the fact that it's total, all chemicals, right? All steroids, all chemicals, everything like that. Now, that's the only thing that we're measuring here. We're not actually measuring bodies here. We're measuring what this dosage of chemicals can do with this body, and this dosage of chemicals can do with this body. It's just chemical warfare. That's all it is, right? It's who can build the bigger Frankenstein? Who can build the bigger freak, right? As long as it has very little to do anymore with.